Hi there. Welcome back to Allie's Voice. I'm Allison Love Beatty, and I need to preface this with a warning that this is not one of my classier blogs, but um, as of this morning, or it came out last night, a report about um, breast size and the likelihood of developing diabetes later on in life. Uh, Canadian researchers spent 10 arduous years studying women, nurses, from 14 different states and um, basically they, they took their um, stats on breast size at the age of 20 and linked it to their likelihood of developing diabetes later on in life at the age of 35. So here in, uh, I mean, I was going on the woe was me trail for a while. I'm like, damn, that sucks, you know, because diabetes is such a bad thing to have. Nobody wants to have it, but... You know, you think about it, the, the whole function of breasts, I'm not trying to say men are simple, but I think that, um, you know, I went out and was searching for some statistics on this, but, you know, apparently there are some men that really, you know, it, it's sort of like that, that carrot thing you dangle out, and that's sort of what initially attracts them to women. It might be their breasts, you know, some guys are, you know, of, of the other side, they check that out, but, you know, the whole package. But here's my point. If women that are more endowed, uh, more or less, can um, be more attention grabbing and likely to procreate and produce, um, so what is is this like a bad joke or something? You know, if if you have a 68% increase likelihood if you have an A cup or if you have a a breast size larger than A cup that you know you're going to develop diabetes later on in life. You know, why are they saying this like it's a bad thing then? I mean, it almost seems like it's an adaptation for survival. Is that is that crazy? Am I stupid? Is my contrarian view um, sort of shaking the system? Or, you know, did that not, is it, I mean, what were the Canadian researchers trying to say? I don't know. This is just where I am, what I'm gathering from this. But I, I kind of almost make it, it, it sort of seems like, you know, diabetes really isn't such a bad thing. It might just be the way that we perceive it and the way we try and combat it and treat it. Um, yeah, that's been my mantra all along, but food for thought. I don't know. What do you think? Thanks for joining me this time. Comments, questions, hate me, love me. Uh, join me on 2diabetes.com. Thanks, guys.